Okay, so welcome to another Premiere Pro tutorial. This is the latest version 2018, it's 12.1.2, and this is only for Windows user, not for Mac. The Mac user, the link will be in the description how to install and the Mac users. So we're gonna go ahead and show you how to install. I mean the easiest way to install a multiple motion template at once. Just drag and drop creating a folder you know inside the motion graphics template folder and Premiere Pro the latest version as you know and this is the latest version as I said so if we go into you know when you open Premiere Pro first time you will see like this so you can go ahead and click graphics and you will see the folder as you see Adobe basically came out with this version and basically you know upgrade the 2018 and total redesign the essential graphics panel as you see we got uh, two options up here my template and Adobe stack which is good you can look for free and premium you know if you would like to buy some of them so you can just go ahead and check premium or you can just go and look for free but what about in case you want to have your own as you see you can just go my template and click this little icon down here and the windows will pop up and just you know look for the folder where you have your templates if you download from the website and you can just uh, select one by one that's a little headache to select one by one if you have a uh, hundred or two hundred it will take forever you know so i'm going to show you this way as i said to install once just drag and drop Another thing is, as you know, it's a little tedious when you insert any of the templates will all mix in uh, what the default comes with Premiere and it's kind of like a little headache, you know, to be looking one by one, you know, uh, what about if you want just uh, sports or just weddings, it's a little hard, you know, even it gives an option to have as a favorite, what about if you have 100 or 200 favors, so it will be a little hard to, you know, to have everything mix it and that's why you know i came out with this uh, option and show you guys the other option adobe is giving us you know the libraries if you don't see this up here you will have down here the libraries options you can just drag and drop into the essential graphic panel the same the libraries as you see and here it gives an option to create a library so as you see it's giving an option to create a library so before we start creating the library i'm going to show you the way to install as i said just drag and drop so let me minimize uh premiere and first we're going to go ahead and open my site so you will have my site where you can download some of the i mean most of the projects are free you can just go ahead and check and also you can check the videos called templates so you will have a bunch of free motion templates created in after effects for premiere and you can download and start using and here's the uh, you know the video how to install or customize the central graphics folder or libraries and the mac user so make sure to check out this uh, video the link will be in the description of course and also here we got the site with the link of course where you can download my uh, motion template so load there is for premiere as you see i have 2700 downloads it's, it's a lot of course and you know you can just download as you know as you see i already download i have in my desktop called essential titles this is the folder so the way to install is you can open any folder and go my computer or my pc or this pc and then go local disk and then we can go user and then the name of your computer which is sketchup in my case and see you will have those folders so we're looking for a folders hidden so what we can do in here is as you see on the menu up here we got file home share and view and make sure you're in the view and you will have this option hiding items so if you check will show up this uh this folder of course all the folders which is hiding and we can go ahead update a double click roaming and then adobe come on and you will see this motion graphic template folder if we'll double click we will have this option or where to insert the files as i say or the motion templates in this case and so if you want to have your own so in case you don't want to mix it up with the default premiere so we can go ahead and create a new folder i'm gonna just say native templates once we create this we're gonna go ahead double click inside and i'm gonna go and you know open this make sure to pick the uh, top and then just scroll down holding down shift we can select all of them and i suggest to do click i mean and uh, right click copy in case you erase or uninstall premiere so you will have this folder as a backup and up here i mean in this folder called natives to template so we're gonna go ahead and make sure paste it as you see and then we can just go ahead and click 
and closing this case let me go and open Premiere again and if we go essential graphics I don't see anything that we just insert in the folder there is no graphic in this case so what we can do is just refresh clicking one of those uh, top options you know and go back to graphics and you will see this uh, you know the uh, templates we insert as you see I have my native uh, templates uh, we uh, just insert it inside and the folder of course and you will have this so what we can do is once we insert in the template uh, library so we can go library and then we can go this option just click create a new library I'm gonna give a name Nera Studio Pack and, and I'm gonna create and you will set this empty basically if we go back to essential graphics we can go ahead right click and we'll give it an option to you know just copy and paste you know the the uh, library we created re recently which is Nera Studio Pack in this case we can add a bunch of them you know we, so we can have as I said separate like we used to have before by folders so let me go ahead and scroll down and add a couple more so we can see it the way it works as you know right click Nero Studio Pack right click Nero Studio Pack if we go to libraries you will have this so you can create multiple libraries as I said if you want to have after effects sports weddings so you will have by libraries creating libraries and also there's an option to create I mean delete or rename the library because in the video that I made for Mac some people are asking how to delete the library so this is way to delete the libraries is going up here this menu you know just click and it will give you an option to delete or rename the library if you click delete so we'll pop up this option asking if you want to delete or cancel I'm gonna cancel for now and then we can go ahead and create a new you know make sure new sequence just to check you know 1080p I'm using right now double click I mean just OK and you will have the timeline and we can go ahead and drag this into the timeline you know and we'll pop up this option you know it's telling me you know why you don't have installed the phone that which has this uh, template so you can go ahead and download it's called Roboto or you can download I mean it's free of course from Google or the premium websites you can look for a package of fonts you can just go ahead and download and install on your computer and will you know fix this problem otherwise if you cancel it's not working for now so what I can do is close Premiere right now so I'm, I'm not gonna save it and reopen Premiere and now once I reopen I can go again library and just drag and drop and will pop up again but you will see the uh, template in the back you know so we can play now as you see uh, I mean Premiere just uh, replace the font uh, for the default comes and your computer has and you will be able to you know just make sure select and go essential graphics edit and you can start editing the text the color and you know and that's the way we install you know using you know just drag and drop into the folder and the latest version of the premiere which is 12.1.2 that's the latest version as I said and make sure to check my website for the free templates you know download and make sure to check for the Mac user of course video and make sure to subscribe to my two YouTube channels English and Spanish gives a like on Facebook and why not Twitter and make sure to keep in tune for the next tutorial hope you guys like it and see you next week